Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Flat Explain. Today we want to learn about an other list method which is sort. We want to have a closer look how this method works in Dart and after that we want to see how we can use this method in our flat application. So stay with me and let's get started. In our first example, we have a variable which I call it numbers, and this is a list of integer. Our task is to sort numbers from largest to the smallest. To do that, I will call our variable numbers, and after that, I will call the sort method. Now let's have a look in the documentation and see how this method works. The sort method will return void and it will take an optional input parameter which is a compare function. The sort method will order our list according to this compare function. If we don't specify a compare function as an input parameter, the default list implementation will use the comparable compare. The compare function will take two input parameters and this function will compare these both elements with each other and will return an integer and our sort method will order a list according to the value which we'll get from the compare method. The type of the input parameters from the compare function depends on the type of our list. In this example we have a list of integer therefore both parameters are also integers. And now I will print our numbers to see what's going to be the result. And when I run it, we will get a sorted list, which will start from the smallest number to the biggest number. But our task is actually to sort the numbers from the largest to the smallest. And to do that, I will just easily call the reversed function. And if I run again, we will get a sorted list which will start from the biggest number and go to the smallest one. But before I continue, let's have a look in this reverse method and see how this one is working. The reverse method is actually a getter function which will return an iterable of the object in our list in a reverse order and this is exactly what we wanted to achieve. In our next example, we have a variable which we call it names and this is a list of names. Our task is here to sort names from the shortest to the longest. To do that, I will call our variable names and after that, I will call our sort method. Here we should specify our own compare method. And for that, I will pass two elements as input parameters. And what we want to do is actually to compare the length of first name with the length of our second name. For that, after I call the length, I will call a compare to method. And after that, I will say, I want to compare the length of first um, name with the length of second name. And now let's have a closer look in the compare to method. This method will compare the first element with the second element. And as return parameter, we will get an integer. If I scroll down, we will see here, if the first element is smaller than the second one, the return parameter is minus one. If the first element is bigger than the second one, we will get one. And if both elements are equal, we will get zero. Perfect. And now if I print our names, we should get a list of names, which is sorted. Amazing. Now we will get the names and Max has just three letters and Peter has five letters, which is the longest name. In our last example, I have a variable which I call it my friends. And my friends is a list of friends. If we have a look here in the class friend, we can see that each friend has a name and an age. Our task is here to sort my friends according to their age and after that, we want to print their names. Perfect. To do that, I will call my friends. And after that, I will call the sort method. And what I want to do is at, at the beginning, actually, to sort our friends according to their age. For that, I will call the A, 
and after that call the age and now I will compare this one with the age of our second value and because we want to print the name of each of friends I will call again my friends and after that I will call the for each method and here I will iterate through each friends in our list and after that I will just print the name of my friend and now if i run it we should get the name of all friends according to their age amazing guys now we know how we should use this sort method in dart and now it's time to see how we can use it in our flutter project to explain it this i will use the same project which i use it in my fold tutorial if you don't know how I built that, I will put the link to my video in the info box. And now let's jump to our to-do and see what we want to achieve. Here is our to-do. And our task is to sort the rows according to their item prices. Which means when we add some item with their prices in our data table, we want to make it possible that we can sort our whole rows according to our item price. To do that, I will start with our data table. Our data table has two parameters which can help me. The first one is sort column index, which is from type integer. And this parameter will specify which column in our ta data table will be sorted. Our item color has index zero and our price column has index one. Therefore, I pass one to our sort column index. The second parameter is sort ascending and it's from type boolean. I will pass here false and after that I will create a variable for that and I will call it sort. Instead of having this variable in the build method, I will just cut it and bring it in the state of our state for widget and replace the var with boolean. Now it's time to bring some functionality in our data table. For that, we have a method in our data table, which is unsort. This method is a void callback. Let's jump into unsort and see which parameter this method will take. Unsort is from type data column sort callback. And if we jump again into this one, we will see that this function will take two parameters. The first one is a column index and the second one is ascending. So let's go back and pass these two parameters in our unsort callback. So I will pass these two parameters, the index, which we will get from sort column index parameter. And after that, the ascending, which we will get from sort ascending. Now I will create a new variable and will call it sorted item. This is going to be at the beginning equal to our items. And what we want to do is to call our sorted items and after that call the sort method. And now I will pass my own compare method in it, which means that I will pass two parameters in my compare method. And after that, with the compare to method, I will compare the item price of these two elements. In the next step, I will use the ternary operator to check the value of our ascending. And if this is true, our item is going to be equal to sorted item. And if this is not the case, our items are equal to sorted items dot reverse. And here we have a new iterable and I will use to list method to create a list out of our new iterable. And last but not least, I will call the set state here and will update the value of sort to ascending, which means every time we click on the price column, the value of the ascending will be changed. And with set state, we will update the value of our sort variable. I have added two items with the prices in our data table. And now if I click on the price, the order of our items will change. And this is exactly what we wanted to achieve. Amazing guys. So today we learned about sort method in Dart. Additionally, we had a closer look to the compare to method and saw which parameter this method will return. And at the end, we saw how we can use this method in a data table in our flat application. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, don't forget to click on the like button and subscribe to our channel. Have an amazing day. See you later.